All right, so this is a quick little uh, video. Welcome to Power Vintage. Glad to have you here. This is my Atari Falcon desktop. I tried to do a direct video capture of it. Unfortunately, um, because this is an interlaced output, while it looks beautiful, I, in my mind, I think this looks excellent on the screen. There's a little blurriness here and there, but in general, uh, I think it looks excellent. Uh, when I try to do a direct video capture to the, my capture device, I have a cheap capture device. It is an absolute disaster. There's crazy flicker. It's just a, it's a mess. And maybe there's something I can do to fix it. We'll see at some point in the future if I if I want to keep doing these kinds of screen captures. But for right now, I wanted to capture this and share this uh, around now, right? So th this is uh, using the software package Blow Up. Uh, there's a number of different software packages that allow for enhanced resolutions on the Atari Falcon. The Vital Vital Chip Vital Chip is excellent and is actually extremely flexible. It's kind of, I mean, for an Atari computer, it's amazingly flexible and allows for a lot of potential. I mean, you, you can actually output almost any kind of resolution from that chip uh, and you can even damage screens. You're not gonna damage any of these because I've got a, an OSSC in between it, but uh, what would happen is there's all sorts of warnings on the software instructions that if you're using this with a multi or either multi-sync monitor or a CRT, any CRT monitor, you run the risk of potentially damaging them. All right, enough of that. I wanted to just kind of show what this looks like. We're gonna use uh, blow up. This is the software package. I'm just gonna get, open up the config. So you can kind of see the settings that I have here. So this is an interlaced. Um, the uh, dot clock is 32 megahertz. We're running at a resolution of 960 by 608. Uh, all the settings here, 256 colors. I love this. I think this is fantastic. I've tried a bunch of other ones, other settings as well, but they haven't have worked either better or worse. There's actually, a, a, as you can see, they're 800 by 480 that I've also played around with as well. That does work decently, but this one here is my favorite for a number of reasons, and I'll show you those reasons. I'm going to quit here in large part because previously, in order to run the Basilisk software, I had to put this into true color mode using RGB out. All right. Uh, true color, the, the, you know, the 640, 680, 640 by 480 resolution with true color out. And, and the true color is what really bogged down the system. So now running with this 960 by 608, 256 colors the software running in the Macintosh 2 software running in Basilisk 2 is actually super cool, especially looking at the games. Uh, and I'm talking Warcraft 2 in particular. Warcraft 2 was a slideshow, <laughs> not really playable, but the fact that it ran, it was kind of cool. Now it's kind of playable. There's a little glitchiness in the screen. I'm going to work on trying to see if I can't fix it in some way, shape or form. Um, but you see the little flicker on the screen every once in a while, a little uh, streak across the screen. That's what happens. But what we'll do here, we're going to boot up Warcraft 2, and you kind of see, hopefully, how responsive this thing is. In the past, this was, again, this is a slideshow. As you can see, I can move through this really quick. We're going to load up a game real quick. And like I said, this is substantially more playable. Let's do a load, load, a, load this game here. As you can see, this is actually very, very usable, playable. I'm just training up some peasants. We're harvesting gold so that I can build some ships. I think this is the third or fourth mission in the game. Very much more responsive. Is this perfect? Heavens no. And you see the little flickering on the screen? That's happening. All right. 
Not perfect, but still kind of cool. All right, I'm going to exit out of this here, but and we can kind of take a look at the resolution on the screen. We'll exit out. We'll look at the video settings here. As you can see here, we're running at 960 by 608. 256 colors. So we're not trying to emulate 256 colors with true color. We're just getting, we're running at a higher resolution and getting 256 colors running perfectly here. It's gorgeous. You know, look again, Civilization 2, similarly, Civilization 2, because it's a turn-based strategy game, wasn't that big of a deal running it at the slower speed. It is now substantially faster. Again, you see the glitchiness. I'm, I'm going to work on figuring out how to get that fixed. Let's see here. There we go. We're the Vikings here. Here we are. As you can see, I'm just moving relatively quickly as, as opposed to what was happening previously. This is vastly superior. You know, to the point where I, I actually might try playing like a Dark Forces or getting something like that on here. Again, these are just, this is silliness. This is nothing spectacular, amazing. I am enjoying this. This is a fun thing. I wanted to highlight this because of uh, the awesomeness of what's going on with uh, what was set up with this Basilisk 2. Uh, Agrilund did a fantastic job, and I know that there's many folks that were using video cards with Mega STEs or TTs. The Atari Falcon with th these kinds of settings is, in my mind, fantastic. I'm loving it. Again, still, still some glitchiness, still some things to fix, but cool stuff nonetheless. All right. Thanks a bunch for watching. Uh, that, like I said, very quick. Have a great day.